Yeah. I thought it was a goal. It's quite tough for them, you know, especially you know, when you're in top in the games, Eddie. That's a wee break that can change the whole game now. I suppose the second leg, you know, the, 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 the semi final decides over two legs, so um, no question it was on side to me. They might feel hard done, but they're still in the game. They're not, they're, they're not as I say, well enough behind it. Uh, they're not going to put up a fight today. And I, I, so I think the first 15 20 minutes, Eddie, could be quite tough. You know, there's a bit of rivalry off the park as well. Darren and uh, Derek Holmes were, were ex teammates of Burroughs County, and I know they've been in touch. So, um, it, it, it's, I know we spoke earlier, there's two sets of brothers playing as oh, well, so it's, uh, there's lots going on on the pitch. Uh, great crowd coming in just now as well, so I think we're in for a cracker. I'm going to, I'm going to ask for predictions. I, I, I do it every time. OK, I'll go with you, Nathan, firstly. I think, I think Washington will get a goal. We've got to go one each. Probably, I think extra time. And then extra well, time the um, for to go through. <laughs> I'm going to say the same as I said last week, 2-1. But anyway, Let's go and see this game. We'll see you at half time. And we're off in the second leg Scottish Junior Cup tie between Waterford in the red and Wishaw in the black. And right away, both teams trying to stamp their authority in the game. Robertson leaning heavily on Duffy. No fouls to the referee. As the ball goes out of play, taking the early sting out of the game. It's Ferguson to Littleton. The long, deep cross. Roberts. Block by Crawford. Jenkins has a goal. And the Wishaw defence holding fast. And it's Kindling on the run down the line past Littleton. It's cleared for a side to Wishaw. That's Mackenzie teasing the whistle full back. It's a cross for Robertson. Duffy does enough to put him off. It's a long kick by Keeper Brown. A great first touch by Robertson. Roberts! Good save by Thompson. The corner whistle. Wire! He fluffs a golden opportunity again. It looks like Crawford acquired a bump in the head. No, 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 come here. Listen, listen. The referee is having a few words with him. No more. There's a long clearance for Robertson. But a push by McGee O'Conn. Robertson gives Hurlford a free kick just outside the 18 yard line. Ferguson to take. Oh, and it's tipped over the bar by Thompson. Mackenzie to Ferguson. There's another cross to Robertson. Heads wide. It's Wishaw pressing down the left hand side. Targets McGuire, he's offside. Duffy chips for McGuire. Lovely layoff. McGee off, over the bar. Hurlford are probing this wish on defence. For another cross for Robertson. Robertson goes down. But referee Gray says no penalty. The 
Corner Hurlford, oh, David at the back post. Yeah. And there's Robertson. Goal, yeah. Hurlford! A tremendous goal by Roscoe Robertson. Sneaks in at the back post. Crashes it into the back of the net. Hurlford 1, Wish on L. That's one, that's one now now to Hurlford. Ben Roscoe scored number 10. What do you think against so far? Oh, fantastic goal there. It was Hurlford certainly dropped the first 15 minutes of the game. And I was just saying to Nathan just before the corner there, Ross Robertson's winning a lot of balls into the feet of uh, Mark Robertson, which probably should be in front. Mark from two very similar chances. The ball's been knocked down his feet. It's one way traffic at the moment, and it's going to be quite difficult now for Wishall because they're going to have to come out. They're going to have to try and get back into the game quite quick. It's just going to leave some spaces at this end. But what a finish, what a header. Fantastic goal. The Wishaw players look stunned after that goal as the Brugazelas and the bell ring away in Hurlford after that one. It's Kinlan on the wing. Oh, a lovely cheeky back healer between the legs of Littleton. He spoils it all by committing a foul and gets booked into the bargain. Hurl for a free kick, Ferguson to take. Oh, just what's he pass the post? Crawford. Maguire takes it. Just past the post. Falls to McGeer. It's another set piece. It's aimed at Maguire. He's brought down by Fisher. Referee gives a penalty. Penalty to Wishaw. And it's 1 all. Hurlford 1, Whistle 1. In the second leg semi final, Scottish Junior Cup tie. It's all to play for. Go by Maguire of Wishaw. Is a potential to turn this game? Who knows? And it's McCafferty earning a corner for Wishaw. Makes it a fake. Lumagir. The Hurlford hold fast. Again, which will break down the left hand side. It's a cross. Oh, no takers. Oh, and it's Wishaw keeping her off of the bay. Another hopeful cross. Nobody there. Keeper Thompson to clear. Long by Crawford. Offside. And the referee looks at his watch. Here it is, it's half time here at Blair Park in Hurlford. It's Hurlford 1, Wishaw 1.
2-1 in aggregate to Hurlford. Let's hear from Nathan and George Watt for their half-time summary. Well, it's half-time here at Blair Park in Hurlford and it's one all. We thought Hurlford was going to take the game because they're up one nothing for quite a long time there, George. They were, uh, I thought Hurlford dominated most of the game and we were chatting to Nathan through the game, you know, great start. Ross Roberts has caused havoc up there um, and you can see they're trying to double up, pick, treble up, trying to pick him up. He's won a lot of headers and we were saying Matt Roberts had one or two real good chances to make it 1-0 uh, before they scored but when they scored, it's just one way traffic Eddie and I couldn't see how Wishaw were coming back in right. and then all of a sudden, a completely against the run of play, they get that chance and then for the last seven or eight minutes of the first half, Horrofords get their back to the wall so great, great, been a great cup tie so far and I'll tell you what, it's, there's a wee bit to go yet. Did the sim- similar to last week, wasn't it? The last 15 I, 20 that's minutes. That's what I mean, I mean, discussing there. Aye. First 15 20 minutes, we dominated. A bit longer this, this game, obviously. But they dominated the, first, the opening bit of proceedings. Yep. I obviously, if I came back into it, it's good, it was going to be a great game so far. Much better than last week, anyway. Yeah. I was side on, at the, and I caught the penalty. There definitely was a penalty. Yeah. Mm. It was man handled, it was pulled down. And there, there was no, there's nobody can No, not, not a lot of complaints for the players and even the supporters as well, Eddie. So it looked at it, boy finished it well. And the keeper had run up, I think it was this the keeper that took the penalty, took the penalty and yeah. saved the penalty in the previous round. <laughs> so that was going to be interesting. He was a bit in a huff when he came back here because we'd said that to him. But um, great cup tie, great day for it. The part, you know, the difference from the obvious you guys were not last week, the part's much better. And, you know, it, it'll be interesting the first 15 minutes because obviously Wish have still got to try and come out and score. Mm-hmm. It might leave some gaps at the back. but. Um, I would imagine that it's going to be uh, as good a first, the second half sorry, as we had in the first. Anyway, we'll see you after the game. We're looking forward to the rest of this match. Another 45 minutes. Who knows what's going to happen. And it's Hurlford to kick us off in the second half of this second leg semi-final cup tie. And straight away Hurlford taking the play to Wishaw. Roberts. To Mitchell. Oh, great save by Thompson again. It's a long clearance by Brown. It's a turn by McKenzie. It rattles the bar. There's two golden chances in the first five minutes for Hurlford. This one rattles the bar. Fisher working hard down the right hand side. Breaks back to Fisher again. It's across. Neat layback by Crawford. It's a great back post. Cross. No takers again. Hurlford with this relentless attack on the Wishaw defence, but they're holding fast. And it's Kinlan to McCafferty. He's off the coffee. Good block by Fisher. Crossed by McCafferty, picked up well by Brown. It's another long, hopeful ball goes over the hurdle for the Peds. McCafferty has a shot. Good defence by Fisher again. Shot after shot. Blocked after block. Finally, it's a shot and easily mopped up by Brown. It's another Hurlford corner. Whipped in and just missed by Robertson. It's a long law aimed at Jenkins. And he's brought down by Crawford. No, it's not a penalty. Oh. 
Him to Maguire. He's on. McCaffrey has a shot. Good save. Wish you are fighting hard to come back into this game. A shot falls into the arms of Brown. Jenkins. Oh, that was close. seconds to go you can see the despair in the wish all bench there get the ball in they're shouting cleared away again by Hurlford Hurlford won, Whistle won, but in aggregate it's 2 1 to Hurlford, who gets through to the Scottish Junior Cup final 2018. And commiserations to the Whistle players, you could see them put everything into this game, tried hard, but in the end, Hurlford are through to the final. Glen Park, 2 1 each, Wayne Hurlford and Whistle, obviously, you watched today. You've got so far, but how do you feel after this result? <laughs> well, it's probably the, the best Aye. word that you can use, as you can imagine. Um, we really thought that we had a chance coming in here, just with a 1 0. Um, we thought we could, we could still come here and turn them over, and I felt probably the most of the game we had probably the better of it. Um, we seem to be just not getting the, the, the luck of the green at times, but it's the way Cookie crumbles. You can tell when you're, you're playing a game squad, hey, we've given them. Chance and they're going to put it in the back of the net, and that's what, that's yeah. what you like. So, here at Blaine Park, manager of Hulfin United, Anne how do you feel today after the result? Delighted, Nathan, it's great to get to another final. You know, uh, we, had, we had a fantastic occasion the last time we were there five years ago, mm -hmm. and it's even better that it's Socking Lick. Uh, it keeps, <laughs> keeps the Scottish Cup uh, in Ayrshire, so uh, no, really happy. Mm. What about uh, last week's game? Damn, pretty tough up there, they managed to get in front, and then. <laughs> Back home looking favourites for the tie, but after a great start, it levelled up a wee bit. Aye, Jaws a bit nervy, obviously. Yeah. You know, we were in a bit of hiding when the draw came through. We got Wishaw, obviously. Yeah. No disrespect to Wishaw, Rocky, Rocky, like, you know, that's, that, that was the draw we wanted. So it was a bit of pressure, you know, first half last week we were really good. And then we sat the second half, we sat off the game, and, and to be fair to Wishaw, I thought over the two ties, they were, they were fantastic. You know, the credit to Derek Holmes. And, and the committee at Wishaw, you know, and they supported them in big numbers today. Uh, they were great and they gave us problems. And last week we we done well to get away with a 1 0. And today we started well, scored a good goal, great ball for Fergie and a great header for Roscoe. And I thought we'd maybe have kicked on him, we didn't, and we gave away a silly penalty just one half time, which gave Wishaw a lifeline. And that's what we've got a great team spirit. And they came at us second half and we hit the bar, keep us a couple of good saves. But at the end of the day, it was just about getting over the yeah, lines. You know what it's like. It's, uh, it wasn't our best performance, but uh, it was a good one, and we're, we're thrilled to get another final. Uh, but no, hopefully, Touchwood they stay fit and well and gives them something to, to grasp on. And it'll be a big day at uh, the end of May, and again, it's a, it's, it's a Nearshire derby. Well, so. Certainly, congratulations for the whole team here, Dan, and good luck. Absolutely, thanks for your time, guys. It's a pleasure. Thank, thank, thank you very much, mate. Thanks. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks. All the best. Jordan, cheers, pal. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to cut in because we're live, we're still live yet. And I've just heard that it's a Talbot uh, Harrowford final. Well, they went 2-0. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. here we are. Here we are at uh, Blair Park, fit by shorts, just to let you know that uh, that's Harrowford through. They won 2-1 today, two George. Correct me, because I've been pulled away. 1-1 It's 2-1 in aggregate, Eddie. We'll give you it. We'll give you yeah, it. We've not, we've not won right all season, we'll give you that. That's close enough. <laughs> Well, I got it right. You got it. I got a two-one last got week. I got two-one this week. But anyway, George, what do you think of the game so far? Uh, I thought, um, you know, 
it's quite honest, Dan, quite an honest guy to say, you know, that they, they maybe just shaded over a few games. I think it's probably a fair assessment of it. That's, I thought Wishaw were excellent over the, the, the piece. They didn't look overawed with the level of team they're playing first time in 90 years. Uh, Craig was saying they'd be in the semi final, but, um, you know, the quality just come through it again. And with Hubbardford, you know, the Robertsons and the Mackenzies just probably got them over the line in the end. Good for four weeks. Speaking of league tables, I mean, it'll... I think Hurford have got a task in their hand because they've still got 20 league games left. Yeah, and with that cup yeah. final on the 28th, you know, they're going to, they'll have to maintain their best fitness really well. Yeah. Fitness will be a key aspect of that final, I think. Yeah. Well, I said again, we'll hear it to Blair Park in Hurford with George Watt and young Nathan. Hope to see you next time. Will we get the final? Can we get into the final? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> That's a question. See you next time. <laughs>